Hello, all of my wonderful friends. So I found this. I actually got this from a Fairy Blossom vendor. Not in 2020, but in 2019. Uh, <laughs> before COVID ruined everything. And I had set it near my desk, but off to the side. And then it blended with everything. This is called the Fairy Tarot. And as you can see, it's pretty tiny. I never actually opened it. And since I just refound it, I'm going to open it with you guys today. And then this is my new book, Fairyland. And I was going to just open it up and look through it and the pictures with you guys. But I thought this would be a fun little impromptu boxing to unboxing to do. I'm looking. I can see that there's the. Oh, it's in German. Yeah, I think it says. Zauberhaft Elfen und Kobold führen sie in das Land der Traum und der. <laughs> I'm probably butchering the German because that is not one of my languages. But I'm trying. I'm sorry. I can see that there's the little line here, and I'm trying to find where the. Here it is. Here we go. Apparently, this has never even been opened. Even, I tried to move my camera this time so that it wouldn't constantly be wiggling on you guys. But I may have failed in moving it enough. It is way more out of the way than it was last time. Okay, so here we go. This little tiny ferro deck. Trying to open it. I don't want to damage it. But Oop. here we go. Okay. Oh man. <laughs> the plastic box and now is wrapped up with the cards that are plastic on the inside. Ooh, good. It comes with at least some kind of a isn't that the writer weight tarot image? What's this say? So let's look at our book first, actually. Uh, let there be focus. What's it trying to focus on? Is my question, since it's obviously not focusing on the words. The wands are acorns. Let's see. Da -da -da. Let's look at the others here. The pentacles are bells. The chalices are hearts. Now, I'm going to go ahead and kind of disclaimer myself here. I am more of an oracle card person than a tarot card person. So here's our major arcana. Uh, I don't, I'm not a tarot expert, but I did get this. I really liked this deck because it was the fairy tarot and it was super tiny. So I got it anyway. And I do have some tarot decks. They're just not my preferred method of doing cards. I prefer oracle cards. But I know that a lot of my friends and new folks out there are tarot people. Probably there are more tarot people than oracle people. But so here we go, the fairy tarot. And then it's, I guess, in a bunch of different languages. Los Garabeo, the scarab. Okay, so now I'm gonna try to open this. I should have brought a letter opener with me so that I can get in here and get properly. Oh, I think I've got it, though. And so, as with all my unboxings, I always like to draw the first card just out of the middle to, you know, like, without mixing it up. Of course, I'm sure tarot cards actually come in a particular order every single time, but I still want to, I still want to do the little drawing of the first card and see, see what card I get for today. Yeah, let's see. 
I see some of you guys out there watching. Hey, Flora, I was just going to say, I see some of you guys out there watching. Tell me hello if you're watching. So here's what the back of them looks like, actually. That's pretty cute. It's like a little, wait, that is the back, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's like a little fairy riding a, riding a boar, maybe? Mm, yep. All right, here we go. And then if you guys want me to draw a card for you, I'm going to mix them all up and I'll just do the one card draws for you guys. Ready? Ooh, this deck is spread so nice and easy. Yay. Okay. This is the one right here. I have, oh man, all the cards are in German. Uh, let's see what that says. It says trying to get it like close enough but the camera it's too close to the camera maybe i can get it to if i touch it no that's the bad that's not, that's not gonna work okay it says uh dis disipulus est prioris posterior ds that's latin Hmm. So it's a bell. It's the one of bells. Okay. I can at least get that because there's the bell. Here's the one. Bells. And then it says Camp Campanelli. Which I think this is a bunch of different languages, actually. This word down here says Glockchen. Glockchen and Clocken. Oh my gosh. I don't even know. Where's this book, though? Okay, book. It is in German. Well, at least the art is cute. Let's see. So, this is the one of bells. There's English in here somewhere. So, wands. The swords are leaves. The pentacles are bells. Eh. Is the one the ace? I assume it must be, since it starts at one ace and then goes to two. Acquisition slash success. Yay! I like that. I approve highly. It bodes well for working on the business plan. Okay, now, mix them all up. No, wait. First, let's look at the Major Arcana. And then if you want me to do a one-card drawing for you, put your name into the comments, and I'll do a one-card drawing for you. For funsies! Oh, wait, maybe the zero? Oh, no, that must be the fool. It says the elf, but it must be the fool. It's a zero. What is it? Because there's no zero in here. Yep, zero is the fool. Okay, so here we go. These are the major arcana then. Here on top. This is the magician. Oh, yeah, okay. So here we go. It's, uh, I don't know if you guys can see this. So it's the magician. It's in English. It's in Italian. Il Bagato. And El Mago, that's Spanish. And then uh, Le, Le Bateleur, that's French. And then Der Magier, that's German. And I don't know what this is. De Magier? I don't know what that is. Maybe that's... I don't know. Maybe I'll see one that actually clues me in as to which language that is. So that's cool. It's in all these different languages. Oh, that's actually really sweet. Because, you know, Faye are in all cultures. So it's really cool that it's in all those languages. This is the High Priestess. This is the Empress. And this is the emperor. Let there be focus. There we go. There he is inside that box. Is that what he's in? Some kind of. Oh, the hierophant. He's kind of cute. Look at with his cool little book that has keys in it. And he's carrying all these keys. Keys to fairy with a cat. Yay! Here we are, the lovers. <laughs> no, no, I, I fortunately will not have to use Google every time because it's there in English. 
I may, I'm, um, and eventually I'll just learn those words. See, so der Wagen and de Zegewagen. I, I feel like one of these is maybe Dutch and one is German. Kind of, kind of close to each other. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> Flying frogs and whatnot. That's cute. This is the dryad. That must be justice, maybe, because it's. I don't know. That's what it reminds me of. But yeah, holding those scales. Sword blinded, the hermit. The Oread. So that's pretty interesting. Which number are we on? So card number 10. What is 10 normally? Uh, let's see, 7, 8, 9. No, that's 11. Let's, let's go back a page here in the book. 10. Wheel of Fortune. Oh, duh. Because she's riding a wheel. Derp. Let's see, strengths. And... Hanged man, of course. Death. Death is actually kind of cute. <laughs> the sylph. Sylph or air. That's temperance. This one's a pretty card, huh? And the troll is. Don't tell Gunther that. He'll get all kinds of crazy ideas. I know. I really like the artwork too. It's very cool, and I like so I like the actually the renaming. You know, with the, the dryad and oread and sylph and whatnot. So the tower. I love the tower card. This is one of my favorite cards. It's cool. Oh, Melissa, the Naiad, she's pretty. The Moon, when it's a the Sun. They're so cute. Dancing in the sun. And here we have Judgment. So what was the one with the Dryad? The Dryad was supposed to be... Oh, Justice. It was Justice. Okay, this is Judgment. Okay, now, I, yeah, I'm not confused. I don't know what's happening in this picture. But I'm, I'm getting Hieronymus Bosch feels from this weird corn thing. What's happening right now? And this is the globe or the world. You know, just, uh, is it just me or is it funny that there is a fairy pushing the world off an edge? <laughs> just, just saying. Well, what's even happening right now? All the conspiracy theories have now come to fruition in my mind. Let's see. They've coalesced hearts. Okay, so I really want to translate all these different Latins. Curie, curi acunt mortalacorda. It's probably pronounced curi, actually. So that's 
super want to look all of those up, the Latins, but I can't. So here's the hearts. Let's see. Let's go on to... Yes. Remember, put your name put your name in there if you want me to do a little one-card drawing. Here's the bells. Aw, are they kissing on top of a mushroom? Ooh, acorns. This, this mustache is, that's some serious mustache game. I think, um, it's taking it a bit too far. Trim it just a little bit. I love acorns. Okay. Ooh, this one's cool looking. It's basically like some kind of forest gnome on top of Bambi. <laughs> and then, let's see. Hey, Erwinna, how are you? Okay, I'll do a drawing for you. Thank you for putting your name there. Oh no, he's so sad. These are leaves, and leaves translate as swords in this deck. We've got the fairy air force flying on a moth. That one's kind of cool looking. Let's see. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. Now I have to like definitely give these a shuffle. So part. There we go. Oh my gosh, it's so tiny. Like, itty bitty. <laughs> okay, that's not as easy as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> what the heck? I'm all trying to shovel these tiny cards. Imagine if they were any smaller, if I'd even be able to shuffle them at all. There we go. I'm going to shuffle this more than three times because I've never shuffled this deck before since it's brand new and unopened. And I want to make sure I really get them mixed up. Then I will do one for you. Oh, wow. Congratulations on making some progress. I know it's been a struggle here since the whole COVID incident. So good for you. That's definitely good progress, huh? Are you planning to go ghost hunting with us on Halloween? I'm really looking forward to it. Gunther has all kinds of new equipment and he's still getting some that's arriving. And the hotel where we're doing the dumb supper is supposed to, it does have ghost stories. It's supposed to be haunted. So that's kind of cool. And uh, I don't know, we'll see. I'm thinking that I might, and Gunther already has his outfit, his costume. I do not have one, but I'm s sort of thinking, I was going to go with a Beetlejuice one, but I think now I'm going to go with a Ghostbuster one, because the Beetlejuice one that I was going to get, like, had this cool custom top made top, but the top is going to be too small for me. So, okay, here we go. This is for you, Erwinna. Whoop. You have the eight of hearts. And so, so now open this little tiny and we'll see what it says about the eight of hearts. Wands or acorns. Oh, chalices, hearts. Eight. Here we go. It says maturity and concreteness. There you go. There's not really, um, they don't really elaborate on it. So I guess if you wanted to elaborate more on that, then you'd have to get like a full on, oh, well, hello, brother. Uh, your maturity, concreteness, and also blessed by brother cat. He's, he's loving on the camera right now. Oh, loving, giving, giving a head bump to the camera. 
Yeah. Sweet boy, go down. <laughs> Anybody else out there for a for a little drawing? Raise your virtual hands, as it were. I'm going to shuffle this three times. If I see no names by the time I'm done shuffling, then I will move on to looking at my new book with you guys. So, let's see. Okay, Anne, I see you. Melissa, I see you. Okay. I will get both of you guys. Oh, whoa, brother. Holy smokes, buddy. You're going to slide right off here. <laughs> yeah. I love you, buddy. Can you maybe move your furry little butt? Yeah. Okay, ready? Go down. Go on. Go on. Go, go. Go. <laughs> Does not want, he says, I know that this is where your attention is, and I want to be right there. Okay, so this one is for you, and wait, you have the, it's a bell. Is it the one of bells? I only see one bell on it. Knight of bells. Oh, there it is, right at the top. Got it. Oh, he's adorable. Okay, Knight of Bells, what does that mean? The Knight of Bells is professional. There you go. And, okay, and let's see, who was next? It was, thank you, I know, he's my big fuffa ball. Let's see, Melissa, I think you're next. He's my fluffy, fluffy tail. I'm letting you guys decide how the meanings of these are applying to wherever you are currently at in life and home and work and all of the situations. So, not getting too deep with it. Just having a little Sunday fun. <laughs> in the hang of doing this teeny tiny little deck. Here we go. Melissa, oh, this, uh, this one's for you. You have the Knave of Leaves. All right, Knave of Leaves, what have you to tell us today? What message do you deliver? Let us see. The oh, it just says Squire. Right there. Hmm. Maybe this means that uh, you are coming to a point that you are going to take up take up the, a squirely like position or relationship to someone or something around you. Oh, they smell good. <laughs> All right, you guys, that was super fun, and uh, that is my tiny little Terry Pharaoh deck. So now I'm going to just, this came yesterday in the mail, my Fairyland book. I actually should probably put that deck back in its box so that I don't, don't get it all. Oh, you're welcome, and thank you. I always have fun doing that. In, 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 I say. Let's see. Well, not too worried about that part. Book. So this Fairyland book, I bet you guys, uh, yeah, he totally did want it on the auction. 
I'm surprised actually he's the only one who has got up here to get in on the action. So this book, I bet you guys will recognize some of the art that's in it. And you may even recognize starting with the cover. But once I had started going through, I was like, oh, I, some of this art is really. So it's, it's interesting because this gal did the, I want to say she did the art and her sister did the poetry along with her husband, who also was a contributor to that. And it's got some some interesting, it's got stories in here also. I want to say maybe her husband was the one who did the story, and her sister did the poetry, and she did the art. So it's kind of like this family, you know, this this family effort. And this is this is the nice, glossy paper which is excellent to touch and smell, but sad for me in the fact that I, I, I like to write <laughs> in my books sometimes when I see things and make notes and whatnot, but this paper is so nice that I'm not sure I actually would want to do that in this book. Uh, I'm sort of a, you know, sort of sort of committing books in by liking to but see like all these little guys they make me want to color them i don't know i don't actually ever color things in like that but i do like to write in the margins a lot so but i'm gonna just show you just flip through and just look at some of these pictures together see this i feel like this is probably a pretty pretty famous painting that i've seen before very frolic and that was good advice good advice good advice cost the thing and it's worth the price this is a painting i have definitely seen before the witch is the poem that goes with it i love this so i love actually i'm going to pull this one close because this is something i found fascinating about this picture when I looked through it earlier it's just a black and white but if you look so we've got a little fairy sitting on a mushroom and she's playing for a human boy some koalas there's a lot of koalas in here but these people were American if I recall correctly 1920s and then like look at all the little forest gnomes I guess compared to the fairy it's like they're all fairies, but those little gnome guys definitely are a different type than the one who is on the mushroom. And I thought that distinction was was kind of cool too. So I haven't read this one and I uh I sort of want to read this one. I um in like a short story or whatever, because I read the last line of it and the last line was really cool. So I don't I don't want to read it for you guys, but uh, can you see or is the glare too weird? There we go. Let's see. I don't know if they're big old ears. They're just so cute. Oh. <laughs> this one is so pretty. I posted it on my Instagram. This one is the crystal gazer. What hast thou found within the pool of dreams where roses of a thousand summers blow? What strange and lovely thing of opal gleams secrets and tears and hopes of long ago? Oh, wrapped in beautiful Muse but a space on rainbow sphere where olden memories glow. Then gently lay thy treasure in its place back in the quiet pool of long ago. The bush fairy. Well, maybe they are Australian. The flight of the fairies. Eight. It's awkward to hold the book at this angle, but the light is... So that chapter one, this this story must have, you can't see it from here and there. there you can. She's like got the moon on a string kind of. Catching the moon on a rope. On a rope of dewdrops. On moonlight nights, on moonlight nights they danced.
they have so many fairy books and I feel like I barely have a tiny little bit of what is even out there hidden. I find them a lot by looking at references or reading one book and seeing what books that book references and then going down the rabbit hole of looking in the referenced books. Oh, that's a pretty one. That fairy marrying a mortal boy, it looks like. <laughs> Look at all the little, the little uh, I don't know what you call them. But you know, like the ring bearer boys. I'm kind of curious now because there are so many koala bears in here. Like, did they just like koala bears or were they actually Australian or from New Zealand? Let's see. Born in 18. Here, let's slide this over from the publisher. Born in 1888. Greatly encouraged by a gifted literary and artistic family to develop her talents. First, publish her art. Let's see. New Age magazine. Successful business, 13 years her senior. Very supportive of her talent. Production decline during the Elves Fairies. That was our first book. Let's see. Oh, not only in Australia. Yep, the, the book was a great success, not only in Australia, but in England and Europe as well. Oh, so they are Australian. Well, there you go then. All right, you guys. That is, that is basically it. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed looking through the three bears. <laughs> the three, three koala bears. <laughs> <laughs> cracks me up. All right, I'm going to let you guys go. Have a good Sunday. Thanks for looking at everything with me. And uh, bye. I'll see you all later.